The bike rider is Cliff Workman, treasurer of the Hells Angels, the wildest bunch of outlaws to come out of the West since Billy the Kid and the Dolphins. He's here to challenge his biographer, a tense young literary journalist named Hunter Thompson. It was Thompson who lived, drank, and rode with the Hells Angels and wrote about them in a bestseller. He was the first to compare them to the outlaws of the West. The critics have been unanimous in their praise of his book, but the Hells Angels haven't been heard from yet. Tonight, Sunday makes author meet critics. It brings together the writer Hunter Thompson and the reader he antagonized the most. That's the bike rider, Hell's Angel, Cliff Workman. What did you think of the book? Well, I'll tell you, Al and, and Hunter, everybody in this room, that that book is 60% cheap trash. Cliff, what is a typical Hell's Angel? Typical Angel, Hell's Angel could be anybody in this room, somebody that likes to ride a motorcycle. I got a home, home, I got a job, I got a boat and trailer, you know, I do all things. I raise dogs, I do a little bit of everything. Yeah, let's face it, you're not a typical angel, and I know that and you know that, so let's not get ourselves in that. Well, they're no you different. Th I, you think I, the angel sent Cliff here as, a, as an emissary, as a minister plenipotentiary with a high college degree and a yearning for bourgeois respectability? Is those he different? Your, those are all your words. Uh, you no, is he di well, you said he's not typical. No. <laughs> you see, actually, there are none of us that care what anybody thinks. Because we are us. I am me. What I do in my home is nobody's business. I don't give a damn. If they don't like me on my motorcycle, it's too bad. And you figure you read the book and you, you, you think that I wouldn't think that? No, I, I know exactly where I said. I spent uh, two years in the damn Well, I, I'd like to then get to the get to the end of it then on, on why. Well, let's just, let's, I don't, let's take a if point of it. You, right? you spent a year with us. Why you got your head sometimes? All right, get to it. All right. I want to know why we didn't get the two kegs of beer that you promised us. <laughs> Well, well, this guy here, he's sitting here, he's making a million dollars, and he made it off of us. Oh, uh, maybe Hill, not quite Hill, that much. Hill. But if you knew what I was thinking on this, uh, you're making something. You wouldn't tell me that bike we, credit. We helped you make it, right? Yeah. We, you said what all we wanted was nothing. Make? There was nothing about money, nothing about a share in the book, nothing about anything. All we wanted was a couple of kegs of beer so we could all get drunk, <laughs> and a copy of the book to each of the Oakland members. Yeah. I said that. Now, when you get your head thumped on, you wrote a letter to Ralph, and you said, see, and I got beat up and got my head thumped on, I don't owe you guys nothing. I didn't figure I did. But now, wait a minute. No, but you didn't which, tell which, the people which why you got your head thumped on. Wait a minute, which two kegs of beer are you talking about? What are these? Two kegs that you were going to give us for, we've had you in our home, we, we've fed you, we've given you a beer, you didn't pay for nothing when you those runs. I don't think you owe me that. A lot of angels have been in my house and drank a hell of a lot of beer. Well, sure. So I think it's fairly well And they still like you, but they don't like what you're doing. Why did they thump me? All right, this man here, you got into a man's personal argument. That's a not right line. No, no, I it ain't. That's afternoon, and oh, go ahead and tell it. All right, just this is my side of what happened. Okay, you weren't there, so why don't you preface it with that? This is what this is what happened. Okay. And you, and you see if this isn't right. Junkie George is beating his old lady. Junkie George. <laughs> Junkie George. Junkie George. Okay. Do you think so? Now, this is what happened. Oh, so serious. <laughs> Junkie George is beating his old lady. I remember Junkie that. George, right. Junkie right. George's dog. I right, well, look at this. Junkie George's dog bit him, right? I didn't to me, see this that. is a personal family. This is I a didn't personal feud. If a guy wants to beat his wife and his dog bites him, that's between the three of them, right? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yes. Here came the peacemaker, right? He doesn't have a patch on, he isn't in the club, you know? And Junkie George is stiff. You walk, you walk right up to him and you said, only a punk beats his wife and dog. Mm -hmm. These were your words. Now, you said it, you said it to this man, and you backed up. You and he all. said, Hunter, you want, you want some of this? And you said no, but you got it anyway. And when he hit you, three or four others of them hit you too. Well, you got in your car that. and you left. That's when in your book you said you found Magoo asleep in the back of your car, so you stopped and he got out. But yeah. the next day, if you'd have had any guts after living with all of these people, you'd have come back up there, had a beer, and sat down with everybody and said, all right, I made a mistake, or somebody made a mistake, so what, let's have a drink. And we never seen you since. Well, why don't you we finish? never seen our two all cakes right. of beer, and we've never seen our book. You, you're finished. Are you finished? I was talking to Tripp, it was about 3 in the morning, and we were talking about uh, whether my uh, BSA 650 
would run with his, uh, his chopper. And we were kind of comparing, you know, ratios and top, top speeds and roads. And I was watching, what's his name, Junkie George, I don't know who, I didn't know the guy. But there was somebody about 30 feet to my left beating his wife to a pulp on the rock. And I thought, well, that's, you know, kind of ugly, but that's the way the, that's where the game played. If he'd been beating her that bad, somebody would have stopped her. Oh, no, don't, don't, not. Remember you're, you're kidding me time. and you're going to kid everybody else. No, nobody stopped him. I mean, you know he beat his wife up. You just said it, right? He was beating his wife Okay, he, he was had her on the ground with a big rock or something, you know. No, no, oh, no. Well, he, she was lying on the rocks and no, he, was, he was giving her this, you know. To keep a woman in line, you got to beat him like a rug once in a while, you know? Well, <laughs> I agree. Well, he was doing it. That's all I mean. He, 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 he was doing it. I, I, you know, I, his I, dog I, evidently thought it was wrong because his dog bit him. Right? Well, I wouldn't pay that much attention because I've been. So around... he kicked his dog, you know. Wait a minute now. Let me let me just get to it. If it had been, if it had been me, and I was going to say somebody said, "Go ahead and beat your old lady, but don't kick your dog anymore." You said that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hunter. We're 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 finished. In other words, I can't, uh, well, I can't you can get my own version of it. I'm afraid you'll have to do it privately. All right. Thank all you right, both right. very much for coming. Thank you.